Hello and welcome to Pavli. So Zoom has recently updated their app marketplace and after this update, the process of connecting your Zoom account with Pavli Connect as a trigger step has changed a bit. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this updated method to connect Zoom inside Pavli Connect as your trigger application. So here, I've created this automation workflow and in the trigger step, we are going to search for Zoom. Select Zoom triggers. And after that, in trigger event from this dropdown, select configure webhook. After selecting this trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to enter a secret token which we will get after creating an app inside Zoom app marketplace. So let's do it. To access the app marketplace, we will go to a Zoom account and from the left sidebar, we will go to this advanced section and under that click on this app marketplace. Now here you can see in the new tab, the app marketplace is open. Now to create a new app over here, just hover on this develop button and click on build app. After clicking on build app, this app will open in front of us. From here, you can rename this app. Let's say I'll name it as Pavli Trigger. And after naming it, here you can see we will just scroll down and under auth information, it is asking us auth redirect URL. And here in this field, we have to enter this particular URL connect.pavli.com slash callback URL. So you will get this same URL in the description box below. You can just copy that URL from there and paste it over here. And as you enter it over here, the same URL is added in the next field as well. Then after that, just click on continue. After clicking on continue, here you can see the secret token. You just have to copy the secret token from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here in the connection window and click on save. And as we click on save, we will see our Zoom account will get connected with Pavli Connect. And after making this connection, Pavli Connect will give us this webhook URL. Now we have to add this webhook URL in the app which we have created on Zoom app marketplace. Just copy this webhook URL from here. And after that, just go to your Zoom app marketplace. Under the same app, we will scroll down. And here you can see this option of event subscription. Just turn this button on and click on this add new subscription button. Just click on this edit button and give this subscription a name. Let's say I'll name it as Pavli Trigger. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then it is asking us for the events that on happening of what event we want Zoom to send the data to Pavli Connect. Just click on this add event button and here from this box, you can select any event of your choice. So let's say I'll select this event of meeting has been created. Let's say I want to send the data from Zoom to Pavli Connect whenever a new meeting is created in my Zoom account. You can select any event of your choice. Then just click on done. After selecting the event, it is asking us for the notification endpoint URL. And here we have to enter the same webhook URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. And after pasting the notification URL, just click on see. And we have added the webhook URL in this app. Then just click on continue. And after that, we don't have to do anything. Just scroll down and keep clicking on this continue button. So here you can see all the required scope for that particular event are automatically selected. Just click on continue and the app is created. So just now we have created the app in Zoom app marketplace and also we have added the webhook URL in this app and selected the event. Now we have to add this app in our Zoom account. For that, just click on this add app now button and in a new tab, it will ask us for the permission. Just click on allow. And as we click on allow, we will see this app will be added in our Zoom account. And now this button has changed to remove app. This means the app is successfully added. After adding this app, let's get back to Pavli Connect workflow and click on this save and send test request button. And when we click on save and send test request, it has now changed to waiting for response. Now what we have to do, because we have just now added a new app in our Zoom account, we will just wait for a few minutes over here. Okay, so now we have waited for three to five minutes. Now I'll just start creating a meeting in my Zoom account. I'll just click on the schedule a meeting button. And then the name of the meeting is my meeting. The meeting time is 3.30 PM and let's click on save. Now, as I click on save, you can see a new meeting is created in my Zoom account. And as I create this meeting, automatically within few seconds in my Pavli Connect workflow, you can see here in the trigger step, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the exact same meeting. We have the same meeting name. We have the date and time according to UTC time zone and other details as well. 
And here at last in front of event, you can see we have received this response for the event that is meeting.created. The same event which we have selected in our application which we have created in Zoom app marketplace. So this was the complete video on how you can set up Zoom trigger inside Pavli Connect. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.